The U.S. economy has been running hot since the end of the pandemic, but growth slowed in the first quarter of this year. The economy is still trying to return to whatever the new version of normal is, and I think we're in that process now. The economy remains shockingly resilient, unemployment is still under 4 percent, and consumer spending is robust. But some economists say those strengths could also make bringing down inflation more difficult. The reality is that high prices are to some degree reflecting the strong demand for all kinds of things that is consistent with a robust economy. Last week, the International Monetary Fund upgraded its forecast for U.S. economic growth to 2.7 percent this year more than half a point higher than it predicted in January. The U.S. is currently outpacing other advanced economies, like many in Europe, which are expected to grow just 0.8 percent this year. And what the IMF is saying is that global risks are essentially balanced right now, meaning that we should not necessarily be bracing for the worst. But the IMF warned strong growth can also result in an economy that's overheating, and cautioned the U.S. Federal Reserve not to cut rates too soon. The central bank seems to agree. Some Fed officials even suggesting rates could be on hold for the rest of 2024. We're going to be stuck with higher borrowing costs for longer. This isn't all bad. It reflects the fact that the U.S. economy has remained more resilient and robust. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting.